Okay, recently I was watching a video on Atheist Jr. versus Ken Hovind debate. And one of the debates, what Ken Hovind said about with the dogs is that um, 90% of purebred dogs would not survive in the wild. Not really. There are some dogs that would survive or adapt in the wild. And it also depends on um, what habitat of which dogs that they would live. I mean, he was Ken Hovind was right right about the Chihuahua because Chihuahuas like according if we're counting like purebred Chihuahuas purebred Chihuahuas would not survive in the wild because they are so tiny. They are very vulnerable to predators like um hawks and and things like that. So Kent was right. Some of the wrinkly dogs he also said, like, Neapolitan Mastiffs, Sharpays, and etc. Some of the wrinkling dogs would not survive. I agree on that. But he said 90% of purebred dogs, though. However, um, I, I could name a lot of breeds that would survive in the wild. In, if you take colder climate, yeah, if you take the colder climates like Alaska or Antarctica or whatever, the only breeds that would survive in those places would be Huskies, Alaskan Malamutes, St. Bernards, and other long hair breeds. Now, if you take places like in the desert, oh, dogs like, well, if you, yeah, if you, if you're in the desert, the best dog that would, that would survive in a desert would be like a Greyhound, a Saluki, a Doberman, um, Basically, either some of the short-haired type dogs or smooth-coated, yeah, smooth type dogs or the sight hounds. Like, like I said, um, greyhounds, salukis, and etc. Um, even a Weimaraner would also survive, even though it's not a sight hound, but it's a bird dog and it has a short coat. You know? And if you take places like, um like forest regions or open land most dogs would adapt as well like the labrador retriever the rottweiler um the balsaron and and etc now if you now brachycephalic dogs dogs with push in faces would not would also would not survive in the wild because of that push in face and they're also vulnerable to hot weather and they would also suffer with a lot of problems like the English Bulldog, French Bulldog, and probably even the Boxer since they are brachycephalic. So Ken Hovind was wrong about that. I mean, he was right, but he was wrong about that video. There, It is possible that some dogs out there, I mean, there are some dogs that would survive in the wild. You know? So Kent was wrong, but right at the same time. And that was not that was the only problem I had. He said 90%. It's actually maybe even 50% to, to buy logic, you know. So wrinkly dogs, pushed in face dogs, and super, and uh, tight, smaller dogs, you know, the toy dogs, and the smaller terrier type dogs, maybe the larger terriers would also survive in the wild, like the Airedale, the Kerry Blue, and the Wheaton Terrier. But the smaller terriers, like the Fox Terrier, you know what I mean, they would not survive, the smaller dogs. But a medium-sized dog or a larger dog would survive in the wild, depending on the breed. And depending on the climate as well. Because... If you take a Doberman to, let's just say, Alaska, a Doberman's not going to survive in Alaska because it cannot adapt because it has a short, thick coat. Or if you put a St. Bernard in a, co in a warmer um, place like um, Habitat like Arizona, yeah, a St. Bernard is not going to survive Arizona because Arizona is pretty damn hot. 
So anyways, that's, those are my thoughts. And I suggest you watch the video. Um, there will be a link in, in the description on uh, Atheist Jr. vs. Ken Hovind.